Hello and welcome. You're watching Champions of Akash, and it's time for us to make you meet Dhruv. Let us all welcome Dhruv from Bangalore. So, Dhruv, first of all, many, many congratulations for doing so well at NEET. How does it feel? Thank you so much, ma'am. I still can't believe that this has happened. I mean, we've been working for it for two years, but it doesn't seem real yet. I haven't had time for it to sink in completely. And you know, there's a lot about you that it took B time to sink in because you're not just an exceptional performer at NEET. You also qualified for OCSC in biology in 11th and 12th. Um, you are an NTSC and KVPY scholar. Not just that. Dhruv also topped class 12 boards, guys. Uh, just so much more. I think it's taking for me time to sing this in. So much you've achieved. Uh, and I'm sure this has brought in so many questions in everyone's mind. What does Dhruv do in a day and how does he manage his time and all of that? But first, let me begin by asking, why did you choose medicine? What made you do that? Um, so, I've had two major influences in my life who are doctors. My nana. He's uh, a cardio physician and my Masi, she's a neurophysician. And from a very young age, I've, I used to have a lot of problems when I was young. And he would always be there from the smallest of things to the whatever the issues were. He was always able to help me and like that's always inspired me to help others. I've always wanted to go into a service oriented career. And biology is my field from as long as I can remember, it's been ingrained in me that I wanted to do something in biology. And as the years went on, that just evolved into a passion for medicine because that's who I want to be. That's in my head, that's who I'm meant to be. Hmm. And tell me, at what point did you decide to seek guidance from Akash to pursue this journey of pursuing medicine? Uh, so, I lived in US for a couple of years and when we came back, we had no idea about the schooling scene in India. So, in 10th grade, we were supposed to have boards and there's a lot of hype about 10th boards. Uh, everyone says ki it's a, an important year and you need to be careful and all. So, one of my mom's friends uh, told us ki you should uh, enroll your child in a coaching institute, it'll help. And my parents were very against it initially because they said you don't need any extra help, it's just going to add stress. But then we went to visit Akash Institute once on the advice of the mom's friend. And uh, we saw the books there and it was actually the books that drew me in because the study packages were so well structured and like the diagrams were uh, given and everything was amazing. And I'd seen the NCRT textbooks and I didn't like those that much at the time. So it was mainly the books and then I sat in a class and I was enamored. I had to get, come here. I couldn't say no. So tell me from then to now, now that you've been through this journey and you've done so well and neat as well, um, how has your journey and learning with Akash been? Akash has honestly been amazing. It, there was never any extra stress. That's what most parents worry about. If you're worrying about putting your child into right. an institute, it's about right. the stress that you'll face. But there was never any stress. It was always pressure that I could handle. And the teaching, I mean, I had wonderful teachers. All three years, all my teachers were absolutely amazing. They helped the concepts sink in perfectly. And I never had any need to go home and do much extra because they teach so well. And we had a lot of practice in school itself. We used the books, we had uh, study packages, then there were abundant tests, there were catalyst questions right. and everything was wonderful basically. Right. And uh, tell me something, uh, you mentioned after class 10th, right? They said that, so you started in class 10 uh, seeking guidance from Akash. So did starting at that level, like a foundation level help you more? I think it um, definitely helped me in NTSC because otherwise no one really talks about NTSC in schools or you have no specific prep for it. Right. And I don't think anything I've done in NTSC or even after that, I would have been pushed into if I didn't have Akash or an, like the guidance that I've received from Akash. Right. So tell me, you've achieved so much. You're a topper in uh, class 12 boards and NTSC. KVPY, did it leave any time to pursue anything or you just had to study all the time? Oh no, I've never studied all the time. I mean, even one week before boards, I was playing basketball and going down for like three hours a day at least. I, throughout the two, three years, I've never stopped doing stuff I liked. It was always, studying is one of my passions, but I also have others and I always pursued those simultaneously. Family here is extremely important, right? Um, it's your hard work, your understanding, your intelligence. It is... Akash's mentorship and of course it's family support. How crucial a role did family play in your reaching here? I mean my family is absolutely wonderful. The way they've helped me calm down and basically kept me stress-free is 
indescribable. Without them, I couldn't have done anything. My parents are always there. They've always been supportive of whatever I wanted to do. Even, I mean, they were the ones who would tell me after a long day of tests or whatever, they'd come and tell me, Ki, uh, relax now, you don't need to do anything, go down, play. Right. And my sister is uh, in, like wonderful. She's basically, she's the reason I was calm and I was able to do anything because of her. Because anytime I felt any stress, she was always there and she's the one who's, she's basically my favorite person in the entire world. So like it's very that's hard to put sweet. into words. That's sweet. But you know, your personality comes across as someone very calm, very cheerful. Um, so I'm sure there were times when you went through some amount of mental stress. Uh, when you're prepping for something as competitive as this, how do you make sure that your physical and mental health stay in order? What is it that you would like to add to it? For physical health, I think it's important. You need to have something that you enjoy doing rather than you're structuring it into your day. That's definitely important. But more than that, it's enjoyment because no matter how much you structure it, unless you want to do it, you're not going to do it beyond three days because there's right. too much stress. You don't have enough time to do stuff you're not wanting to do. Right. That's, I think, the main thing for physical health. Stru figure out something you like and then put it into your schedule. And mental health is, for me, it's always been talking to other people, externalizing my fears because I found that when it's inside you, you like bada chada it a lot. Right. It just increases. Like a mountain out of a mole. Yeah. Right? You just micro think fear. everything. Yes. Right. So it's, if you, even if you just say it out loud, even not to someone else, just hearing it helps ground you. You realize that it's not that big a deal. Hmm. And during NEAT, I'd say the most important thing is rather than focusing on the NEAT at the end, focus on the small tests that are happening. Right. Take it step by step, day by day, rather than, oh, I have only two years for need. I have only one and a half years. I have to do this much. Calm yourself down. You have the next test. You're just preparing for that right now. And did you have any weaknesses that Akash helped you identify and work on? Uh, you know, something that you thought that maybe you needed just the right strategy to crack it. And then oh, Akash definitely. stepped up. Definitely. So what would happen is in every mock test we wrote, I would always make at least one or two reading errors. And I'd either not read the question fully or I'd go too fast or I'd be too excited, right. like too scared. Right. So Akash really helped me. That was the most important thing because I was getting in 680s in the beginning and all most of my errors were like they were not concept errors. They were always reading errors, bubbling errors, didn't think the question through. And Akash has helped me like calm down and focus on the test really well. It al It's allowed me to understand everything. Uh, read, like slow down when you're doing the test so that you take in everything, you're not missing a word. Right. Is there any particular facility of Akash that you think really helped you, you found really helpful, like this particular feature of the way they do? What is it that you really think that this is really the highlight for you? I think the mostly it was the tests. We had FTs, we had complete syllabus test CTs, then we had uh, AIATS tests, those were very good. Uh, because they were at an all India level, so you could test your rank with everyone else. Then we had um, we had uh, F FTS final test series, we had CSTs, FSTs. These are like a lot of tests that con kept happening and those were very important. Because we learn through tests. Our teachers always say, you learn, you can learn through textbook to a limited extent. But once you start writing tests, the major majority of your learning comes from there. Because once you make a mistake in a mock test, you'll never make that mistake again. Great to see that interest. It's been really inspiring hearing you and I'm sure there are a whole lot of questions that audience wants to ask. Can we quickly have a mic sent so that we can get into the Q&A session with Dhruv, please. Congratulations, Vijay. Uh, my first question is, how did you prepare for Olympiads with the current class preparation, like 11th and 12th? So I didn't really do that much special for Olympiads. In 11th, we had a series of classes, IOQB classes, uh, which were ran for about a week where they taught us about evolution and all the topics that are not there in 11th grade. I attended those and I just like revised the 11 topics completely and that was enough for uh, 11th grade. By 12th grade, the biology, at least I did it in biology mainly, the topics are so well done and so sunk into you that you don't really need to do that much extra. Gumte gamte, you can go give the test and come and it's okay, it's doable. What's your preparation for 11th like, during the 12th class? Like side by side or in the end? Achha. Uh, so our 12th preparation was done. I didn't do anything for 11th while 12th learning phase was going on. After the learning phase got over, we had our last CT, which is a complete uh, syllabus test. That had entire 12th portion. After that, they started a revision program. In that, when they did that, only 11th started for me. So I didn't do anything side by side. 
there were a few weak topics and those you can always look at if you need to but other than that just focus on what they're doing properly right now if you are distracted then dono topic theek se nahi honge let's say in 11th you have one chapter in physics that you're not understanding and you're doing a 12th chapter in physics that's hard if you try to do both at the same time your attention is diverted so just be fully present in class and remember you have your last 8 months usme aaram se you can do it if you've not done it yet that's all the time we have for the q and a since we have to get into a very important segment now dhruv rightly mentioned that without family champions couldn't be sitting on the champion seat so it's time for us to bring in dhruv's mom this neha advani Welcome ma'am and huge congratulations on his neat results. Tell me something ma'am um this journey the Dhruv has been on and um, it's commendable how he's been able to pursue so many other things along with his studies but if i was to talk about his coaching aspect with Akash and you as a parent um and i'm sure there are a lot of parents of neat aspirants who are watching this here um how has your journey with Akash been for his preparation? So i would say it was flawless. because other than see teachers being teachers are uh, is in their job description but i would say for his programs his teachers were his mentors they know exactly where he needed help how he was supposed to be calm down and i would say that my son's biggest strength is his cool and calm nature the moment he stresses out he would start making mistakes so they also knew how to calm him down where to control him where to stop you know uh, being too stressful making the situation too stressful so overall it has been a great journey and i would say that he would not have been able to do this without their help so absolutely wonderful jo parents aapko dekh rahe ho aap se ye bhi janna chahenge ki apne bacche ko hamesha motivated kaise rakhe especially kabhi exams mein number kam aa jate hain even if agar bachcha intelligent hai acha kar raha hai kabhi kabhi koi careless mistake ho gayi ya fir question jaldi se pad liya kuch chhoot gaya so jab wo us swing mein ja rahe hain when they are getting demotivated as a parent aap kaise dhruv ko motivate karte the hum baat bahut karte hain i think matlab ye jab aata hai school se ye bhi bahut batata hai he is an extrovert wo batata hai ki mujhe ye problem hui एंड uh, हमारे एक्सपीरियंसेस भी हैं हम भी प्रीमियर इंस्टीट्यूट से पढ़ के आए हैं वी ऑल्सो हैव अवर एक्सपीरियंसेस तो हम लोग काफ़ी शेयर करते हैं बातें कि आज का स्कोर डजेंट मैटर और हम ये भी बोलते थे कि नीट इज़ अ थ्री आर एग्ज़ाम उस पर्टिकुलर दिन अगर किसी रीज़न से तुम्हें नहीं ठीक लग रहा है किसी भी रीज़न से डोंट गिव अप जस्ट बी मोटिवेटेड अपना जो बेस्ट है वो करने की कोशिश करते रहो और यही हमारा मोटो है मेरे हस्बैंड तो सिर्फ यही बोलते हैं बस पास होके आओ वो कभी नहीं पूछते कितना स्कोर आया कैसा एग्ज़ाम हुआ क्या रैंक आया और ही इज़ ऑलवेज लाइक कि बस डू योर बेस्ट पास होके आ जाओ दैट इज़ मोर देन यू फॉर अस एंड फॉर ऑल द पेरेंट्स वो वॉचिंग यू मैम राइट नाउ इफ़ आई वुड टू से कि वो पेरेंट्स जिनके बच्चे नीट एज पेरेंट्स हैं अगर उन्हें आपको एक एडवाइस देनी है सम पार्टिंग एडवाइस यू वॉन्ट टू लीव विद वॉट वुड बी दैट एडवाइस लेट दैम बी support understand your child where that child needs support whether does he need pushing then you can push a little bit don't push too much because this is already a very very stressful environment they feel that their life depends on it right so be as a uh, calming influence as you can be be around but don't push them there are enough factors to stress them out already right you so don't be that you factor. don't need to add to that Right. You just be a calming influence. Your child should feel comfortable coming and talking to you on the worst days that he is going through. That this is where this is my lowest, and I still have a feeling I want to go to go and talk to my parents. That is all that is needed from you as parent because other things Akash is already taken care of. Right. So that is what I would say. Thank you so much, Nami. Really value you being here, Dhruv. Before we let you go. um what is your advice to all the neat aspirants who are watching you right now if you could just elaborate on that i'd say my biggest most important thing that worked for me at least was take interest in your subjects when you start wanting to do this uh, wanting to learn what you're studying that is i think there's nothing else like it because you can study for 14 hours a day 24 hours a day don't sleep but the way when you want to learn something when you enjoy it the way that it enters your mind there nothing else can replicate that so 
even in the most boring of subjects, find something to like. There is nothing that is completely boring. We're, this is science. This is humanity's greatest achievement. Right. Just find stuff that you like in it and learn. And another would be find out what strategy works best for you. Because for me, what worked might not work for someone else. And trying to replicate what works for someone else is just going to cause you stress because it won't. I tried making a schedule in the very initial days of 11th. I tried making a schedule and strictly following it, but it just didn't work. It made me actually regress. I was not very productive. So find out what works for you. You have a good amount of time and most importantly, relax a bit. It's not the end of the world. You'll do well. You'll do your best. That's the only criteria here. It doesn't matter how you, what your marks are, what your rank is. Just you need to feel that I've done my best or kuch nahi kar sakta tha main. Bas, bahut hai mere liye. Thank you, Dhruv. Thank you for sharing your insights. There's a great deal to learn from your experience for everyone who's watching and also for parents, fam. Thank you for sharing your valuable insights. It was really a pleasure meeting you. Thank Same you. Here. And all the very best. Thank you. So that was Dhruv's story, but there are a lot more success stories of champions of Akash on the platform. Don't forget to watch them. Thank you for joining us.